Hello my YouTube subscribers, Karibu at Kikanasinga and for today I'm so excited I'm making like how should I call it like something that is so delicious I've never tried it out but it's my first time and I know I'm going to make it so good because I have all the ingredients that it's required so stay tuned as I show you on how to make bajia stay tuned guys okay guys just like i was telling you uh today i'm going to be making for you the bajia and here are some of the ingredients that i'm going to be using while making preparing it the first ingredient i'll be required to use is the potato i'll be required to the potato you can see my potatoes are peeled i peeled them and then freshly gardened coriander leaves and then today i'm using a flower called the gram flower i never used it but it's my first time using it and i'm going to try out and see how it's done more mostly okay mostly when you're using the or when you're preparing the bajia dish you're supposed to be mainly i would like advise you to use the gram flower yeah it's a good one and also uh in me with me again i have the garlic powder i know it's not in the right container but i have the garlic powder and also i have the turmeric powder i have the tomato coloring uh, as many as or as many call it the food coloring the red one and then with this container i have salt so guys stay tuned and i'm going to be showing you the steps and the easy steps to prepare that start by preparing the coriander leaves okay guys you first start off by cutting the coriander leaves the stem part then now i'm going to slice it and cut it into smaller shapes using my chopping board Remember the coriander leaves are going to enable me in garnishing my bachia and also to add in the flavor. Yeah. As you can see I'm almost done. Actually I'm done with the coriander so I'm going now to put it in a in a plate in a clean plate okay now after putting my or placing my dania on my plate i'm going now to slice my potatoes i don't i don't want my potatoes to be thin too thin and too thick so i'm going to like to shape them in so that they cannot burn or cook in so that they can put them inside. shapes and I'm already done in the cutting them you can as you can see they're not so thick and they're not too thin also so I'm just going to put them in my okay it's an improvision of like a drainer to drain the water and to strain it to leave them dry so as to prevent the the potatoes from becoming too soaky of the oil so I'm going to dry them using my kitchen yeah to dry them using the kitchen tissue lot. okay i've improvised mine using a servlet but you you can use even a dish cloth 
here so I'm just going to place all of it here and then I drain it for a while stay tuned guys as I show you how to do it it's a magic like I said okay people after chopping my potatoes I am draining them with my kitchen towel but for me I'm using the servets they're also good but if you have your dish cloth you can use it yeah it's also advisable or even a strainer maybe yeah so with that I'm going to leave my potatoes for a while to drain and then I'm going to transfer them the reason why I'm draining my potatoes is that I don't want them to soak the oil because it's not so healthy so guys Stay tuned as I mix my ground flour with the uh, ingredients. Okay guys, my ground flour, you know to me a little so, it's uh, like intermission and cucumber. I think I'm using the plastic one, yeah. So, like I told you in my previous video, then the first step, stages, in the first time I walk to me stuff, so, I'm not sure but I know I won't let you guys down so I'm just going to I just need like one cup yeah. now I'm not in a car different now the wheat flour so if you okay for example can you look on a sieve and get sieve my flour but Josina right now just going to just use it like that so that my first I'm going to now like to add a little more dog or two so I'm done with my flour I'm now going to my garlic powder, like one tablespoon. So after adding in the garlic powder, and like the turmeric powder, take a like one spoon. Then my food coloring, which I can quarter teaspoon, yeah, a quarter. So a quarter, I'm not sure, but I think you are a quarter. Yeah, so. And then some salt to taste. So salt be careful, so I can ring it. So failure to that to get a wingy, which are like a review in Yeah. So I'm going to mix this one. Then my coriander leaves, Amadania, I'm going to like add it inside the also. And then I mix my my ingredients together. What's it mean? It's a coriander. It's a coriander, it's a flour, it's a salt. <laughs> Tomato red. Tomato red same thing. <laughs> After mixing the ingredients together, you just keep adding little water bit by bit. Then you mix it. Remember we are looking for like a paste, like a pancake paste, not so hard, not so soft. So so as to coat the potatoes with so just going to keep on adding so in this part you can use your spoon finger or a wooden spoon and for my circumstance right now it had to me a wooden spoon to like the spoon is becoming almost tiresome so that we are here Or if you have a whisk, 
can use it. And if you do not have any of the above, you can still use your hands to mix it together. Almost done with my paste. You can see it's almost like the pancake paste. It's not like so light. It's not too light. It's not like too heavy. And be able to coat it my potatoes with. So guys, stay tuned and I'll be showing you how I'm going to coat my potatoes. And now I'm going to coat my potatoes with the the, the cream, I don't know, you can call it in you want to call it, but I'm just going to coat it. Like I told you, I've never done this before, so I'm so curious when I've been eating it, but I know it's a little bit. And when I'm doing this one, it's already I never told you that. I already placed my pan, komoto. <laughs> yeah, komoto and your like, ikwe, ikwe moto. It was so hot, so because my oil like in another cool boil boil now, and so I'm just going to reduce it to avoid burning the my bajiers and also to avoid soaking the oil. I'm going to add in more inside, so make sure that both sides of the Potatoes are coated with the paste. So I'm going to do the trial with these ones first, and then I'm going. To do the rest later so why don't you follow me to my to my cooking station and i'll show you how to do it stay tuned okay the part that i hate mostly the quicker one by one because the other one came the other day make sure you collect it so i don't know whether my yeah my my oil is boiling so i'm going to increase
you turn them then you keep on regulating your the heat you turn them to cook on the other side well I still don't know whether I did it correctly, but my fingers are crossed that oh, it's not going to let me go. Okay guys, my first round of the bajia is ready and I can see it uh, like turning. Wow. I'm just going to drain. Gently, gently, and talk. It looks so delicious. For the first, for the, for the beginners who are making it like me, when it turns out to be like that, you're doing a great job. So, keep up. So, I'm expecting my next trial on Bajia. It will be like more coloring than this one. But at least I've tried. So you just go and try making it. And then you comment how it was. My last round of the Bajia. I'm going to try them. You can see my first one being as in a Tokyo Smart. This one looks so delicious. Like, yeah. When you have this food, you have to be healthier. So don't just sit and watch me doing it. Why don't you buy the ingredient? I love to talk on your pamoja. And you will be getting the same thing result. I forgot to tell you if you like, if you love adding in the red pepper chili. It's advisable with it me. They make the bajias to be more delicious and more hot. I'm going to keep on applying it. But if you if you had um, if you still have any question on the on the making or on any recipe that I've shown you in, uh, in this channel, you can comment below and I'll be answering your questions and all that. And if there's a meal that you'd like me to make, maybe I can also try it out. You can comment down there and I'll consider that and I'll make it in my next video or so of my upcoming videos. And also if you if you have any question you have made it, you can still ask me. And I'll be willing to answer every question. Yeah. You don't get tired. Adding in a potato and a potato. So with that one, I think it's okay. This work is a lot of it's so messy. I'm just going to keep on turning it. We may not leave it to cook for a while. Yeah. Wow, people! I can't believe that Nisha and are my bajias. They look so delicious. Only waiting for my food taster to tell me the difference and the challenge and kila kitu. But anyway, let me not like be so boastful of that. But mini koshiko nakatu tamu. So guys, let's go to the testing and I'll show you how I'm going to serve my bajias. 
Okay, people, the finally awaited bajias are ready, and I garnished them like na tomato sauce kidogo too, and also nona they look so delicious. If only I was the food taster today, we get one to two. But now let me just serve it. Like I'm so like, it's like zina nita ita. But anyway, I have for today. I have two. Okay, how should I describe them? Two beautiful and fine-looking African ladies. And nataka they like they taste it. They have never been to this channel. So guys, I know the some are going to freak out for a while, but I want them to be honest and tell me how the food tastes like. So for the two food tasters of today, let me show you guys. And there are none other but these other two girls. This Joy, that's Violet. And now they're going to taste this Bajia and they're going to tell us the result. Yummy. That's so sweet. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. <coughs> wow, guys. Like you've heard it from them. They're so sweet. Like, so delicious. And again, let me have one. They're so crunchy. So, Guys, please kindly make sure me tengene zayako, and also if you like you have like umependa the video, everything that I've shown you for today, give me a thumbs up, and also tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe. See now, now umependa sana. I say bye, adios.